First to tell you about last night at 11, a Severna Park High School student caught on video bullying a classmate with special needs. And tonight we have learned that student has now been disciplined. WJZ is live at the school. And Dennis Valera looked into this story for us. Dennis, the question tonight, what punishment does that student now face? Rick and Nikki, we couldn't exactly hear or find out what that student has been punished with. However, according to the student handbook on the school district's website, there are a number of possibilities, including in or out of school suspension and even paying restitution. Both of Alberta Fluharty's kids graduated from Severna Park High School. From time to time, I was concerned, but overall, I felt they were safe. So when I told her about this video that was aired up to many students and staff Tuesday, it was tough to hear. Everything has to be done that can be done to prevent that and to reach those kids, both the victim and the perpetrator of that kind of behavior. In it, a student is heard bullying another student with special needs. The student threatens harm, even says a racial slur. Anne Arundel County Public Schools confirms that student has been disciplined. The victim and his family have been in contact with the school every day. This is a, uh, a traumatic thing for anybody, right? No one should be subjected uh, to the type of language um, that this student was subjected to uh, in a school sitting, setting, outside of a school setting. Uh, it, it just should not happen. The student who took the video has been identified, but the school still does not know who airdropped it. In a letter to families, Principal Lindsay Abruzzo condemned the video and praised students and staff who quickly went to the office to report it, saying their quick and decisive action and, quite frankly, their anger at the situation shows that the behavior depicted in this video is not reflective of our overall student population. The swift reporting and action is comforting for Alberta, too. The more people are aware about it and care, the better chance we have of it being fixed and remedied and prevented from happening again. A reminder to students, if you ever feel unsafe or you witness something like what's in that video, to report it to a school counselor or administrator. You can also report things anonymously to the Safe Schools Maryland tip line. You can do that by calling 833-MD-BE-SAFE. Reporting live in Severna Park, I'm Dennis Valera for WJZ.